Hi, this is Lee with learningwithlee.com. I am going to be going through um, different coding languages with you. Um, to work towards making a website, making games, um, getting stuff online. And we'll see if we get beyond that. Um, we're going to take little short lessons, um, one day at a time. You can read more about me and um, these lessons um, in the About section on my YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started with our first lesson. It's called, What is HTML? So I'm going to answer that. We're going to start with that right now. Um, I Googled it because Google knows everything, right? It can tell us. And HTML is an acronym, and it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's the language of web browsers. Okay, a web browser is something like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer. Okay, those are browsers. And the language they read is HTML. Okay, we don't just write text on the page, we make it hypertext. Okay, this HTML language, it takes your test text and makes it hyper. Okay, that just means above and beyond. Okay, it adds more to it. Right, we can write text on the page and then use HTML. This we can mark it up to make it big, to add sound, to add you know, italicize the words, or to add look. This is like has like a highlighting behind it, it's got a gray box around it. Or we can turn it into a link, we can make a different color. Okay, so that's it's marking up the language. Okay, we're making the text hyper, we're adding to it, making it more. We're using this language to do more with our text. So we're going to do it right now. We're going to start. You're going to get your first thing. You're going to see your first code in a browser right now. Okay. We're going to start with opening up a text editor. Okay. If you're a Windows user, you're going to use Notepad for right now. Um, if you're on a Mac, you can use something called Text Edit, which is built into your computer. Um, this is my site, Learning with Lee. Um, all the lessons. Are there in writing so after you're done listening to it maybe you want to go there and you can read it or maybe you like to read first and then watch it whatever is easiest for you okay so right now if you're a windows user um no i'm not typing in windows i'm typing in notepad go to your little windows button there start typing in notepad it'll show up we get a blank page now this is better than something like word because it's just plain and simple. Okay, Word has all those ideas about what it wants to, you know, add to your text itself. You know, adds its own margins and spacing, stuff like that. We, we want to play, we want to do that ourselves. So we want something like this notepad is what we want, prefer to use. So, and we're going to use something more specifically for coding um, after a little bit. But this is a great way to get started. Now when we write HTML, we write it inside something called a tag. And we write tags in something that looks like this, the greater and less than symbols. That's where we write our tags. And the first tag we're going to learn is the HTML tag. Excuse the door in the background if you heard that. It's my daughter. <laughs> uh, HTML and then a closing tag, HTML. Okay, whenever we open a tag, we write it like this, and then to, we have to close it. If we open it, we close it. If we close it, we write the same exact thing. It looks the same exact way, except we add this backslash. Um, on my keyboard, the backslash is on the same key as the question mark. Okay? And everything we write in between the opening and closing tag is part of that tag. So everything we write in here is part of the HTML. Now, if we put this online right now, it would be a blank page. The HTML is just for the browser to read, it's not for the public, it keeps it to itself. So to put something on your page, I'm going to do like every other coding course in the world and write hello, first thing they always have you write. I can write whatever you want there, and we're going to look at it on a browser right now. You're going to go to File, Save As, um, I suggest you go someplace like Documents and create a file called Projects. That's where you keep all your website coding projects. And then create one for Lessons just for these. Okay. Then you can go back and, and see what your code was for that lesson. We're going to write Lesson1.html. 
right? That's the, that's the language it's going to read. We need an HTML document. We don't want a text document. We want an HTML document. That's what the browser wants to see. You may notice I wrote this with a lowercase l and no space between lesson and one. It will make it really easier with coding if you use lowercase letter to begin with and you put no spaces in, okay? Just use that suggestion for now and go ahead and save it. And then this is all we have to do, right? We grab it, just click on it, and drag it up here. And there it is. Hello world, right? It doesn't show the HTML tag. It shows hello world. And right now it shows the name of the file that we saved it as. Lesson1.html with lowercase and no space. We'll change that in another lesson. But there you go, you can write whatever you want there, have fun with it. Um, to get it online, you can, just, you can double click on it and it'll open up. Okay, that's where it opens and reads that file. So I'll see you, have fun with that, and I'll see you at the next lesson.